Hi, this is Professor Jacob. Just wanted to give you a little short video here with me in a little box on your screen so that you know I'm a real person, okay, behind the scenes. Um, and sorry about the lighting, it's not too good, but it should get us through, all right? So the entire point of shovel is to devise this three-part study system to help you to get to where you need to be in order to be a successful student this semester. All right, so part one is you're going to build a customized study plan. And so that's the entire point to shovel. You're gonna put in everything, all your due dates um, from each of your classes and you're gonna put in how long it's gonna take you to do each task, okay? Now, the second part is creating really good study habits. Um, really good study habits get you consistent results, okay? Um, a lot of people, when I was in, you know, K through 12, a lot of people would say, oh, you're smart. No, I had a system, and that system was, as soon as I got home from school, I studied. I studied before I ate. I studied before I went to the park with my friends. I studied just basically as soon as I walked through the door because that's where I felt I had the most success was while the information was fresh on my brain, I went on ahead and, you know, actually studied that. Now, that doesn't necessarily work for everyone, but you have to put your study habits into practice. And what I mean by that is we could talk about it all day, but until you actually, you know, have some study habits, you know, talking about is not going to get you anywhere. Okay. So really study habits is really about the little things that, you know, the little few steps that help you to get there. And so Shovel is, you know, definitely one of those formidable apps that are going to help you to get there with your studying. And the number one thing is if you see there, it says, where am I going to study and remove distractions? Distractions are like your cell phone, your TV. Um, your tablet, you know, anything that can take your attention. So if I were you, I would put my cell phone on vibrate mode if you absolutely need it to be on. If not, just turn it off while you're studying. That way you won't feel the need to pick the phone up and actually check social media or, you know, check your, your text messages things like that. So you want to study in places that provide complete focus. As I mentioned earlier, you want to have laser-like focus, all right? That will help you to get all of the things that you want to get done this semester with your classes, you will be able to get them done, removing distractions. And then part three, learning how to study effectively. Now, everyone isn't you know, a professor. <laughs> uh, so, and, and I completely understand that. These are habits that have to develop over time. I actually got laser-like focus um, in my graduate school experience because I was working 60 hours a week in corporate America and I had very little time in which to get all of that done. So instead of you waiting until your graduate school experience to get real good success, I'm hoping that the Shovel app will help you to learn how to take notes effectively. Now, as I mentioned in the syllabus, in my personal experience, taking notes for me is not writing everything down from a textbook page. It is only the new information. 
So a lot of the information that you're going to see this semester, especially at the beginning, may not necessarily be new to you, such as, do you know what a computer is? Of course, you know what a computer is, right? It's an electronic device and it has certain tasks that it does. Well, I'm gonna give you four and that's basically all that a computer does, all right? But if you've never heard these terms before, then you want to write the terms down, all right? Instead of writing down a computer electronic device, we know that because it plugs in or it runs on a battery, all right? So getting your readings done for each of your classes is extremely important. If you don't read, how are you going to study? What are you going to study, okay? So reading and writing, are two sides of the same coin in college, okay? Um, studying for exams or assessments, all right? My assessments in this class are a few questions. Nothing really dramatic like a midterm exam or a final exam, nothing like that. These are every other week just asking you questions about the previous week's lecture, all right? And then, you're going to be writing all along throughout the semester in VoiceThread. Now, this VoiceThread, you're going to actually upload a file. And that file is your print screen of your Shovel app study time schedule. So I want to see your entire window, the address bar, the minimize, maximize, restore, and close button. I want to see it all on your page. All right. So you only have one option down in the middle part of this window, all right, um, of your voice thread window, I should say, that if you hit that little block plus sign, it's going to open and you're only going to see one option because I don't want you to type it in. I don't want you to speak it into voice thread. I want to actually see your physical file or not necessarily physical, is it? <laughs> but your individual file, all right? I want to actually see it. So you're gonna do a screenshot, you're gonna save it into Paint, all right? And then you're gonna upload it into VoiceThread by clicking on that button that is available in, once you click that uh, white block, block plus sign, all right, at the bottom. Good luck to you, and I'll see you on the next VoiceThread.